Hello, everybody, and welcome back here to High Button Sports. As we get set for game number one here, my name is Jeff Warburton, bringing you the action all day here today. We are going with the Bombers and the Novas to start us off in what should be a good one here. Bombers coming off a loss yesterday to the Gauls in a tight checking game. Nova is coming off a victory against the Bearcats from a tight checking game. Should be interesting to see how these two match up, both rocking the black and white. As we get set for our first puck drop of the day. And now we are off to the races. It is a full day of hockey here on the High Button Channel, Friday at Provincials. This is a big one as everyone looks to get seated and play a couple games. And we'll get started. That puck picked up on the left side. Played up to Cohen. Cohen's going to go for a lead pass. Hayden catches it behind him. He'll move up the left. Cut off into the boards there by Duncan Anderson. Our defender of the league here for the U15. Got that award yesterday during the opening ceremonies. Number 11 Anderson's had a good couple years here in the Nova's uniform, and what better way than to wrap it up with a provincial title at home. 1-0 so far, that one bounces back here in front. McDonald whacks out whack to the back to McDonald here on the Nova's side and played him behind. Jumps the stick, trying to move that over. Bombers jump on that puck. We we'll try to move that down as it's ran into the corner. Back to the line for McGinnis. McGinnis dishes that off and a shot from distance. That one's gonna hit the side of the net and stay out. Looking for a wraparound. Oh, and a big save there. It is right on the doorstep. That one was saved by Anderson. They're number eight on the Bombers. And straight up saving a goal there as net was empty. Goalie got spun around and an early chance here for the Novas stopped. Great defending down there by Anderson for the Bombers. We know yesterday the Bombers let in two early ones, which ended up being the difference. As couldn't break through on the goals after that. It was two goals in the first five minutes. So I got to imagine today they're coming in, trying to play a little better first couple minutes here as that one goes offside and not have to worry about what happened yesterday this face off will come right down here in front of us just a minute and a half in sim gonna be on the draw here one back by fleet dished across novas picked that up down the right side corner back to the line kept in in a shot that rides up a shin pad drops down into the left side Chased after and pushed him behind. Bombers looking for that outlet pass to Croft. It's going to be off the mark and sent down for another icing here. As we keep an eye out, I don't know if I've seen number 11 out here yet. For Oh, there he is. Anderson on the right side. Okay. They saw back down here in the bomber zone. <coughs> Pushing them back there. Played back to the line and past Anderson. He'll go to Jake. So we got three Andersons, all on defense. One on the Novas, two on the Bombers. So that's uh, ideal as we try to navigate this one. Duncan Anderson going to pick up on that. Nice little toe drag as he gets knocked down into the corner there. Picked up looking for Cohen on the left side. It's grabbed and... Sent out to center. He'll be knocked in for a lead pass. Nice job picking up on that. And now off to the races, perhaps down the right side. Hayden gets the shot off. First shot of the game here for the Bombers. Back to the blue line. Dished across McKenzie. McKenzie in motion. Scores! As that one catches top left. I don't know if it hit anything on the way through, but a nice hard pass at the blue line. And a nice hard shot by McIntosh here on the right side. And that'll be one nothing early. And just what the Bombers ordered up here 
an early goal on their side. And we'll head back to center. First real opportunity of the game. Whips into that top right corner, and the Bombers with the lead here extremely early. McDonald, he'll play that back to Swain. Swain dishes it in, left side. Chased after into the corner. So McIntosh gets that one. And a beautiful goal there to start. Puck in motion down the right side. Hard shot on net. Catches Mesh, that one picked up by the Novas here on the right side. Pressure coming, Chisholm. Chisholm sends it down. And it'll be covered up. The face off down here on the left side. So interesting, the parallels. Yesterday the Bombers ended up playing a pretty good game. It just ended up being those two goals at the start that was really the difference. Certainly a good effort now. McKinnis kicked out of the draw. Face off there on the right. Shot comes back down. Boyd looks to keep it in and it wraps in behind Cameron. Cameron onto the stick there. McKinnis tried to break that in. It's back to the line. Duncan Anderson fans on it but keeps up with it. Hands it over to Boyd. Boyd gets himself in motion and a save made. Scooped up in the glove and a little pushing after. So a good little bounce back shift here for the Novas. As we look at the schedule here. So next up, it'll be a great game between the Cougars and the Bandits. Seen them have some battles this year. Dropped in and it'll be played back in behind. Now steered up to Cohen. He does a little touch pass, picked up on the other side. And now the captain down here to the right and he'll get a shot. Hustling after that and Chisholm picks it up. Stick lifted hard back to the zone and now McKenzie goes around the right side. Brought in, Hayden stays on. Shot from McKenzie. Scooped up and lots of saves here in the first five minutes of this one. Both goalies playing conservative in that category. Evan McIntosh assisted by McKenzie and Hayden, our first goals. Face off down here on the right, Croft. Croft tries to center to be back to Sim. Sim with a little pass to Croft off the end wall. Hustled after on the right side. Electing to take body as they battle for it. Picked up by Anderson. Anderson here for the Novas, hands that off. Looking for Davidson on the left side. Jumps up past the glove of Sim. And Anderson will be forced to go back and grab it. Down there in the right side corner. Goes on for a big stop. And Put back to the line, shot, that one's gonna be tipped wide on the right side. Nova's still looking to move it out as it jumps over the glove there back to Williams. Williams cuts back. Williams up the wall. Davidson takes a bump as Bombers will be finishing their hits all day long. Two 15s go into it on the end boards. Picked up there and dished out through the right side to Croft. Croft. Passed in and will be sent back in behind a little pressure. Croft still fighting for that along the end boards as it rolls back over to the line. Anderson here for the Bombers will fire one. Misses on the left side. McDonald picking up that for the Novas. Back to McDonald for the Bombers. Back over to Anderson here for the Bombers. Sent down to Boyd. Boyd looking for McDonald as now everyone kind of spreads out and the passes start flowing. Moved. Up to the right side, McKinnis is going to slap that one down as it wraps in behind the end boards. Trying to move it up the wall and pass connects. Bombers here from the back end having some good pressure here. A mixture of pressure but also 
not forcing themselves onto these pucks too hard. Both sides have kind of gotten possession, played positionally sound so far. Six and a half minutes in. A little pressure here on Jones by McClellan as the stick goes flying. Fleet picks it up. Knocked over and up to McIntosh. Fleet with a good game yesterday in the Nova's wins over, win over the Bearcats. One on one down there into the right side corner. McIntosh battling away for it as well. They'll go two on two as support comes in. Dropped over to the right side, back to Anderson. Anderson's gonna fire that into the end boards. Ricochets off those end boards over to the right side. Trying to pick up on that. McIntosh cut off and now the Nova's looking with numbers up through the right, but it bounces off the stick and back to Anderson. Anderson on a circle back. There's some fresh legs coming out for both sides. Hits the stick near center and sent down. No icing. Cohen goes down into the corner. Works over to the right side. Pass gets across over the red line here. Back over the blue line, Nova's. Nova's fan on that shot, but follow that puck into the end boards. Still with possession. Picked up back to McGinnis here on the blue line. McGinnis down the left side. That one jumps off in front, shot! That one just misses on the right side. Point blank is, that's what the they were looking for there. Up to Hayden off the pass of Cohen. Hayden moving around, Hayden finding some room. Trying to play that out in front and knocked over. Net goes down and referee will blow the whistle. 7.20 to go in the first in our first segment there with Oda Whistle in a little while. A little back and forth here after a conservative first five minutes. Face off will come down here into the Nova's end. Interesting to note that sometimes the refs will go over and just fix that net and let the play continue right there. As soon as it went off, the whistle went. So they don't come off a ton here at Anna Gish Arena, but when they do, you can expect a whistle. Happen about, well, that was only really the third time yesterday, today included. Puck battle for there in the left side corner. Trying to grab that at Heads back to the blue line, exits the zone, and then touched in. A little shot behind as the two McDonald's going at it. 27 and 15 there. Croft had a good step here on the right side if that puck wasn't offside, so a bit of a bounce there for the Novas. Because they'll get a change in, and oh, it looks like they turned on the heat here at Anding in Arena. We'll take it. We will take it. One of the heaters that actually stays on for quite a while. Talked about it last time I was here. You go to East Hans, you're paying two bucks every 15 minutes. Played down the right side. Picked up here. Nova's not quite able to get that passing play worked out as it heads into the right corner, bouncing off Cohen's stick. Up through the middle, McIntosh fires it on. Played into the left side. Some pressure coming here, Nova's. Over to McDonald. McDonald looking for a lead pass. Hustled after. No ice as it gets waved off. Hard into those end boards they go. Cameron picks up, hands to Hayden. Hayden jumped up through the middle. Duncan Anderson cut back. Hands that off to the left side. Little pass play to Davidson and now Nova's look for numbers out of the zone. Brought in on side, shot in, that one high. Bombers down here in behind. They go one on one and get in the arm in and it looks like the Novas will have our first Ian Tate plumbing and heating power play of the day. As Anderson touches up and the goalie heads to the bench, six on five here for a moment. As the Novas look to tie it up, bouncing in the feet and finally touched up there by Sim and a shot behind the net. And that one might lead to more here. So we'll see. Nova's heading to the man advantage. Just two guys into the box and it looks like they will get them. Cameron and Anderson. So five on three for five for two minutes here. 5.36 left to go in the first. And a golden opportunity here for the Novas to try to tie this game up. 
One nothing Bombers off the early goal. Puck gets, knocked back to Anderson. Gonna take their time here. Anderson, dishes back over. Ellis heads to the net. Anderson, the man back, he swoops it over. Left side, Fleet picks it up, shot, save made. Rebound in front, bouncing around. And a great clear there as Duncan will have to head back for it. McIntosh, the one to get that clear there for the Bombers. Now it's up the left side, McDonald. McDonald steps in with a shot, block it away easily, and now up the wall as they can't get set up. 40 seconds killed off this five on three. Back in behind. Picked up on the right side here. Anderson entering. He'll play it back to McDonald on the blue line. Handed off on the to the right side there. McDonald picks up back to Anderson. Anderson steps in over to McDonald. Puck still moving. Back to Anderson as he moves in. Little fumble on the puck there. Ellis down to the right corner. Picked up, passed, won't get through. Hard on it in the middle and a good chance here for the Bombers to clear out. They stay on it, but they can't. Back in front, passed off and a great stick down there. Breaks up the play. And another great play from number 12 on the PK in is McIntosh getting it done there for the Bombers. Into the right side, entering the zone. Chisholm's gonna pick it up. Chisholm into the corner, only 18 seconds left on the five on three, nothing to show for it here for the Novas. Picked up back to McGinnis. McGinnis stepping in, shot, had a shot there to the top right. Seeing eye, just wide. I bet you he wants that shot back there. It's probably the best one of the power play. Now we're back to even strength of the Ian Tate plumbing and heating power play. Our first of the day over. And we're still at one nothing here for the Bombers. Puck gets cleared back in behind and picked up on the left side, a lead pass. Connects, here comes Hayden. Hayden in over the blue line. He shoots that block away by Bell. Bell getting the nod for the second game in a row here for the Novas. Back to the line, hard shot and it's scooped up. And the Novas is one of the better goaltending tandems in the league with Forrance and Bell. And that's something we always keep an eye on is who's getting the nods here at Provincials and how the teams elect to break it down. Ryan Jane's in net there for the Bombers at the other side. So Bell versus Jane's our goaltending matchup. Power play over. Face off on the left side. Drops back for Anderson. He tries to push it up the wall. Sim staying on him. Gets back to the defense there for the Bombers. Chipped up through the zone. Chisholm. Lead pass. Stopped and now in tight on the boards. McClellan plays that back. Bombers. Work it out. McKenzie to McClellan. Shot into the end boards. 2.42 left to go here in the first. Nobody's go up the right side. Watt. Watt. Tries to put it through the middle. Scooped up McClellan. Hits his stick and ricochets into the end boards. Anderson gonna cut up here and pick up speed through the middle. Duncan shoots that into the end boards. Going for a change off, not much on that rush. And now headed back the other way. Here comes Lewis. Lewis passes off Cohen. Cohen shot, rebound there for Lewis. Cohen chases after that in the corner. Not many chances here in the blue paint for either side early. We're getting a couple shots on each end, but very little scrambling going on in the crease to this point, which I suppose both coaches are appreciating. Back to the line for Boyd. Boyd's shot hits the glove there of Cameron before it could reach that, and now they're looking to hustle it out. Down the left side. Man down and shot on, looking for a rebound. It'll bounce over and Six on five here for a moment, and Novas will touch it off. So now a power play coming, and a frustrated McInnes, I believe. Landry is actually 
who's going to be sitting for that one. So the Bombers now get their first power play with the Ian Tate plumbing and heating power play here. 1.30 to go in the first. And the face-offs here on the right side. Drop back to McKenzie. Dished over to Cohen. Cohen down right on the right side, pass across, and it bounces off the stick, and that was the look they were going for. Made it about four to five steps in. Picked up from the back end. Over to the left side. Stopping up, down to Croft. Last minute of play here in the first as it comes over to Cohen. Cohen back to the line for McKenzie. Passed off to the left side, trying to get it across to Cohen. It's tipped once, breaking up the play a little bit, but still Bombers possession. Looking for the man in front on the stick and off of it again. Twice they've got the guy to the right area, but not been able to get a shot off. Left side and it fans under the stick. Hustled after, in there behind. Grabbed along the end boards as the second power play unit comes out with 25 seconds to go in the first. Played over here on the right. Williams gonna bring that in. In on the end boards, a little chip play into the corner. Bomber stay on it. Sim comes up with the chance for one last shot here. Passed over to the right side of Williams. Trying to give it back. But with two seconds to go, Cameron will let one go. Tipped into the mask. A good shot there by Cameron late. But that'll do it for the first. one nothing. The score will be back for the second in a moment. All right, back here for second period action as 20 minutes on the clock. We'll head back to center. 30 seconds still left to go on that Novus penalty to Landry. Bombers a pretty good power play here, but not able to finish it off. Had a, had a couple nice setups. Sim playing that one back. Picked up Williams. He hustles it down the left side. Drops it back to Sim. Played across. Sim gets it on the left side here again. Looking for a pass. Gets it over to the right side. Another threading of the needle. That one they managed to get the shot, but not much on it. Picked up in front. Shot high. As we're back to even strength here now. Puck gonna be jumped out to Cameron. Cameron picks up near the red line. And we'll fire that down, and that'll be the end of the first power play for the Bombers. Looking for a lead pass up the middle. Knocks off a skate. It will be chipped off a stick, sent down the length of the ice. Anderson. Lead pass, now McGinnis picks it up one-on-one, -on -one, trying to split the difference here up the middle. McGinnis still with it, shot and tight. Save made. This will get a whistle here. Back to five on five and face off in the Bombers end. Good period from both sides there in the first. Slight advantage, I'd say, to the team that's leading there, the Bombers. A little more possession and a few more chances, but 
Novas playing a solid period there. Well, it's interesting to see how these teams match up as typically Bombers have to play a physical game. We saw it yesterday against the Gauls. Hasn't shown up as much in this first period as a little more tight checking than that Gauls game to start. Shot in on the right side. Nova played a real tight checking game against the Bearcats yesterday. So not surprised to see them go back to the strategy. Shot in and Fleet had some speed behind that one as he snaps that shot back in behind. Anderson picks it up off the right side. Played in behind. Stick handling, losing it. Cohen's gonna grab it. Cohen circles out. Cohen up the left here. Drop back over to McIntosh. Into the feet there, both worked into the boards. Cameron, Cameron shot, tipped to fork, it reached the net. Plays over to the right side. Flicked back to the blue line. Sent in off the end boards, Anderson now. He'll take it himself. Duncan Anderson, the captain, gains the red line, passes it off to Heb. Heb steps in with a shot, and the save made. Good puck movement by both teams right now. As Anderson brings it up. Oh, goalie has to adjust the helmet here. Bell, so a moment here. But yeah, like I was saying, Anderson moving that puck up well on the left side there. Finds that one pass up the middle and then a little skate in and a hard shot on net. Seen it a couple times here from the Novas. Back to Cameron. He ricochets it off the sideboards and then chases after it. Grabbed by Sim. Sim up to Croft. Fought for down here in front of us. Lewis is going to come up with it. Lewis fires that into the right hand corner. McKinnis spinning that around. DDD pass there as it gets worked up the left side. Chased after there for Anderson. Anderson. Puts that one and it's turned over to Davidson. Back over Cameron. Cameron here on the left side. Lead pass. Touches the stick of Croft and will be sent in. Croft down low. Back over. Puck back to the blue line. Shot from the point. Hits the shin pad. Sent fired into the Nova's bench by their own player. And Davidson goes over and gives a quick apologies to his teammates. Heat of the moment. First game of the day here. On a day full of action, we're gonna be going all day long. It's tons of round robin matchups to get to. That back to the blue line. Gonna be handed off on the right side. A little pressure in behind Nova's lead pass up through the left. Enter the zone there, Watt gets knocked down. Separate man from Puck as the Bombers look to work it out. Have McClellan, but McLean, but not nearly hard enough as Anderson passes out, can't get that pass through. It would have been a great chance in front. Anderson now picks it up, trying to bring that in himself on a drop pass to Fleet. Watt gonna pick it up. Watt through the middle, low, low shot. Save made, covered up four minutes in to the second here. And we haven't really seen anything in terms of odd man rushes or breakaways here. Almost had our first one puck just off the mark as faceoff will be here on the right. Dropped in there. Nova's. Into the wall, Cohen looking to step up on it in behind. Back to the blue line, shot from the point. Steers into the corner as Cohen looked to knock that out. It'll be sent in behind McDonald. Chopped up the right side, back 
in here to the Nova's defenders. Lead pass up the right, bounces off the stick there and in behind. Flipped up onto the glove of Ellis. Back and around for Anderson. Touched into the feet, stopped. Overskated there. Bombers on the left, a collision there on the captain. Wearing that hit and the Bombers breaking it in with a shot high. Been a while since they've been down in this end. McDonald tries to get it in. Nova's pick up into a skate. It's chipped up the left side, a little shove there. Back in behind Anderson. Pass connects to the right. Now breaking back in the zone. Picked up by Cohen. Cohen plays it behind the back. Active game here for Cohen so far. Up the left side. Good job, nice job staying onside. Spun out in behind Cameron. Cameron over there. Sim coming in to help. Played it all on the boards. Hits the skate and drops back in. Bombers now stick handling. Cameron eyes up the whole way. Moving that puck well on his own stick. Trying to get rid of it now. Up to the middle, Sim. Sim breaks in over the red line. The first year player dumps it down. Into the end boards, a little pressure coming around here. Watt working that near the hash marks. Picked up by Cameron, fanned on, looking for Watt here down the middle. Watt has a step, Watt in front taken out by Cameron, goes down, and could they be pointing at center? No, it'll be a power play instead. And Ian Tate, plumbing and heating power play, upcoming 13.35 to go in the second. Into the box for two on the trip. Nova is a chance to tie this up. Cameron will sit. Cameron, the defender from the Pictou County U13 team last year. The star defender there. Moving up with a couple of his teammates, Swain and Sim. And perhaps a couple others, but those three for sure moving up to the Bombers this year after winning Provincials last year. Shot in, save made. Cameron with a nice opening year here in the U15 league. Right now he'll be sitting for two, hoping his team can defend this one. No power play goals yet. Back to the blue line. Handed off here on the left side, stepping in with a shot. Trying to jam on it on the corner and like I said, there's not many chances here in the blue paint. That was the first time a couple whacks have been made out of puck down low in a little while. Face off over here to the left. Face off. We drop down here to the right. A little pressure there. Ellis picks it up. Active stick, but stay with it. Nova's still with possession now. Dumped out. Back in behind for Ellis. Played over to the left side, bounces off the stick and McDonald. Back in behind and shot down the length of the ice. Good penalty killing here to start for the Bombers. Worked up the right side, Duncan. Anderson picks it up, gets it down over the blue. Pulls back, Anderson to Ellis. Ellis. Pass across to the left side, threading the needle over to Fleet. Fleet, that's a good shot go. Hits the blocker and back in behind. Into the feet again. Bombers pick up and dump down. Ellis on the one hop. He'll be in behind with it. Trying to roll that out up the left side. Novis pick it up. 27 seconds to go on the power play. 
Not much to show for it so far. Watt from the point. Puck gets blocked before it can reach in there. Onto the stick. Back to Watt and now back to center. Nova's on the left here. Shoot that back down and behind. Anderson on the pickup over to Tucker. Tucker back to Anderson. Cameron jumps out right back on the ice for a moment and then he'll go to change. Picked up on the right side, lead pass to Cohen. Bouncing off Cohen's stick to Boyd. Here on the left, the Bombers looking to get back in behind, but it'll be off the right side. Picked up, lead pass, scores! Buried by the Novas on a nice two on one and they'll get past Jans. And it was five on five, but it was finished off with 11.13 to go. Catches the bottom of the net and a good push there from the Novas ends up working out for a one one the score. And we'll have it head back to center with a new ball game here. Goal early for the Bombers was what they were sitting on. Now we're squared away and this game is far from over. Very even here so far. Lewis brings it in over the blue line. Hands that off, looking for the pass. Just through by Swain. Jack McGinnis breaking through on that one. Will Chisholm on the assist. On a nice little play that got him behind. Now a one on two the other way. Two on two forms into the left side. Shot riding up the stick there. Pulled back around Bombers. Handing off to Williams. Return pass there. Broken into the zone. Bombers looking to get set up here for the first time in a little while. Can't get that puck through on a decent Little skate there by Anderson to the Bombers side. Played back in, turned over as Cohen chases after that on the right side, back to the Novas. Lead pass, connects in here. McDonald into the zone on the right side. Gonna be tied up down in behind again to McDonald. To the other McDonald. Back to the line there on the blue. Shot from the point, catches a skate. Looking for a lead pass, Swain's gonna pick it up. Swain brings it in. Swain, low shot into the pad. That bounces off into the corner as the forwards change off here for the Bombers. Passed across, hits a glove. Drop down there to Ellis. Ellis enters and that'll be on the offside as McDonald looks for an explanation. Don't know if he's gonna get one. 9.30 to go here in the second as we near halfway through our game. Face off, be in the neutral zone here. One back, Bombers, over to the left side, Croft tips that one through, in behind for Chisholm. Cut off along the wall and back in behind for Fleet. Fleet looking for a lead pass. Gets it up ahead to Watt. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one for me, but plenty of Bombers back to cover. And they'll take care of business there. Up to Croft, lead pass, misses the mark. Breakout's not exactly clicking here for the Bombers as it was in the first. Back into the end boards, Anderson now. Over to Croft, Croft into the right side, bounces off the stick there and played in behind on the offside. And looks like a full scale change there. So a little line matching happening out here perhaps because it looked like both sides were gonna leave the forwards. And then someone played chicken and sent out the line and then it switched out and now fresh legs fully on both sides. Down in here, Nova's over to the left side. Touched off the stick of McDonald and worked in behind an active stick from Anderson as it's fed off into the corner. Ricochet there, back to Ellis. Ellis brings it in over the blue line, into the feet, turns it over to the Bombers. 
from the back end. D to D pass there, looking for the breakout. We'll find McIntosh. Led ahead to the right side. Shot in low, save made, looking for the rebound. Jamming away at it, still loose. Into the feet, back to the line. Bombers, pick, shot, won't get through. Exits, over to Cameron. Cameron played across. Lead pass, not enough. Sent down for the icing, 7.56 as they head to the Nova's end. Want to thank our webcast sponsor here, Midland, as you see them up there on the scoreboard. Webcast sponsor for all weekend long. Faceoff will be here into the Nova's end. And you know, a rivalry game here. The Nova's the team playing here at the Andy Ganesh Arena, so the home team, but just down the road, Picto County and the home team, the home rake of the Bombers, so two teams that are, and players that are probably quite familiar with each other. Is that sent down an icing? 7.38 to go in the second. Remember, we'll have our break at the end of this period. Faceoff comes here to center for the rare faceoff at center without a goal. <coughs> Pardon me. Williams gets that cross on the right side. Steer it into the end by Cohen. Grabbed by the Novas. Shot down and I guess it hit some a glove or something on the bench as the whistle goes. We'll try again. Not exactly a ton of offense in this game, which is kind of what I expected coming into it after seeing both of them play there yesterday. And it's pretty much gone how I expected. A real tight game, maybe a little more open end to end, but not a ton of chances and certainly not many odd man rushes. Sent down here into the left corner, board battling. Picked up by the Bombers as it's grabbed on the right side. Croft, he'll bring that in. Drop pass over to Cohen. Cohen getting that pass across to the left side. Spun around, save made there by Bell. First time he's been tested in a little while. Seems like the passing plays we were saying are getting set up. It's just about getting that final great chance off on him after that setup. It's a two part sort of deal when you're trying to work down the ice like that. McKinnis into the end boards. He'll get pushed off of it. Bombers in front, picked up. Sweet pass on the mark, but quickly pressured and no shot will come of it. Laid back, Anderson. He gets it over to the right side. Looking for that, it bounces off the stick and will be dumped in by McKinnis. Anderson over on the right. Back to the blue, and a lead pass hits the stick here to the half wall. Looking to chip by. Scooped up by the Novas, Ellis plays it across. Novas connect, McKinnis. McKinnis gonna break that in, hands it off to McDonald. McDonald steps, hits the shaft of the stick, played in front, trying to spin that around, but the Bombers have a miniature wall built there in front. You gotta get through three players before you get that shot on. Anderson up the left side. Lead pass to McKinnis. McKinnis goes in alone as a change happens for the Novas. Now it's worked back the other way. Cameron with some good crossovers here into the left side. Gained a lot of room in a short amount of time there. Played off in front, picked up, shot, scores! Buried. So the first time the Bombers see the blue paint in about six or seven minutes. And it's finished off by the captain here, Hayden on a nice move in front, but it all started with that Cameron effort. And after taking a penalty earlier, a great chance there, buried, and it'll be a lead again for the Bombers with 5.18 to go in the second. We're gonna be heading into the locker room after this one. 
And a lead once again, dangerously close to offside there, but they stay on. McLean feeds it in across. A push there from behind as Fleet brings it in. I don't know if that, that one wasn't scored by Cameron, I don't think, but we'll look at the stats they announced. That's what they announced, but fairly sure he dished that one off in front. But anyway, McKenzie played off to the right side. Nonetheless, great play there by Cameron and gets his team back up. Found a little open space in a tight game. It's the difference right now. Back into the end boards. McKinnis will lay the hit, freeze up the puck for a moment. Watt played back to Fleet over to the left side now. Novas, stretch pass hit, shot down. Picked up by the Bombers, who will head out. Williams, Williams in over the blue line. Williams cutting off on it, backhand, chasing his own rebound. Into the corner they go. Novas come up with it. Looking for their own breakout, two on two. Back here the other way, turning into a three on three. Steered in behind there by Jaynes. And with 3.46, we'll get the whistle. That one must have caught Mesh as face off in the neutral zone here. in the D, head back in behind here. Duncan Anderson gets it over to Stewart. Little pressure by Sim. Freed up here, Cohen. Cohen with a lead pass to the right side. Grabbed by Anderson. Anderson brings it in. Shot, save made, and it's rolling around the blue paint again. And luckily, Bell on top of it as he was able to track it before any harm could be done. 3.23 left to go here in the second. Gonna enter here, face off, over to Anderson, shot, that snared. Shot through traffic, that's the thing. No traffic there in front, but that just means Bell's got a good eye on it. And pretty savvy with that glove, able to just scoop it up. Back to the blue line, Anderson. Plays it to the left side. Hayden trying to move that in behind. Rolls off his stick, he'll catch up to it though. Splitting his own D, sent back. Grab by here by Anderson and he'll Head into the boards, feet first, allowing a moment there for the Novas. Played over to the left side, McLean. McLean gets the pass across, McIntosh. McIntosh enters. Slowed down off the stick there. In behind, Novas chip up the right side, cut off by McIntosh. Steered up, walked away, it's still loose. Trying to get the cover, but somehow came out there, Anderson. $205 for the 50-50 winner there. Not a bad chunk of change as McDonald plays that back across. Anderson tries to get it up the left side, hits McKinnon's back into the, the middle. McDonald snaps a shot that goes wide. Two minutes to go here in the second. Scooped up, and now the Novas look to go to work. Spinning around. McKenzie holds back to McKinnis. McKinnis, pad save. Another shot in front, won't get through. Spun out. On to the right side. It's followed through and now Swain will go at Duncan. Anderson down here, a little pressure. Anderson moves it out of harm's way. Turned over, however, as the Bombers pick up on that. Up through the left side here, Croft. Croft holds, 
Drops that off. Shot from the point, blockered high by Bell. And that one will head into the stands here. And with 123 left to go in the second, we'll get another, we'll get another whistle here. Good back and forth action. Not even really sure who gets the edge here. I suppose I'm still giving it to the Bombers by a hair, but both teams getting their chances and getting their pushes here. 2-1 game with 122 to go in the second. We'll take our break and be back for the third. Once we finish out here, Bandits and Cougars up next. Bandits haven't played since noon yesterday. So pretty long break in terms of provincials, what they might, what most of these teams might be used to. Sharp angle shot as Anderson goes down to the boards. And we hit our last minute of play here. Chased after on the left side, seeing if the Bombers can hold on to this lead heading into the dressing room. Swain picks it up. Swain tries to find Sim, heads outside the zone. Dished over and a risky play and Cameron needs to step up on it and not what the Bombers need here as they try to finish out here. 38 seconds before they head to the locker room. Over here to Croft. Hits it into the back of Watt. Brought in over the red line and sent down. Chisholm now. Some pressure on Chisholm as gets into the skates of Sim. Lead pass up the middle, 14 seconds to go. Watt gonna grab, fire down the right side. McIntosh up the glass. Puck ricochets off into the corner with three seconds to go. This will take us to the end. So 2-1 for the Bombers at the end of two against the hometown Novas. We're gonna be back in about 13 minutes for the next one. We'll see you then.
All right, everybody, we are back here with our third period here in game number one. Day two of Provincials here for the U15s. 20 minutes on the clock here for the third. We're off to the races here. McDonald works that puck up the left side, back over to McIntosh. McIntosh with a burst of speed, gets it ahead. McDonald in behind, Bombers looking to work there on the right side of the corner. Played back around Hayden, turns it over over to McKenzie. McKenzie back on the left side, gaining the red line, sent into the end boards. Croft picks it up off the hop. Croft finds McDonald's. Kept in and Bombers building the wall here. Over to McDonald again. Back in there for McKenzie. McKenzie steps up, gains the red line, shot down. Into the corner, McKinnis. Picked up by the Novas in a lead pass. Hits the stick there. Gonna be wait, almost got caught for the too many there. Bombers, but it's played in ahead. Wanna avoid the bench miners at all cost. Obviously. <laughs> Over um, to the left side, Croft. Croft brings in over the blue line, holding up. Croft with a shot. Far and hard into the end boards. It bounces in around. Played back for Duncan Anderson. Duncan's going to leave that in the corner. Picks it up on the second time around. Gets the pass up to Watt. You got a neck guard there on the ice. Someone's. Bombers. Lead pass. Hits the stick of Sim. Bounces back to the middle here. For the Novas, Watt bringing it in. Novas trying to tie this game up. One period to work with. Played across, so you got a stick and a neck guard. Neck guard looks to be cleaned up now. Chopped that there. McClellan runs into Watt. Back to Chisholm. Chisholm played off and to the left side, and a little bit of room here for Cameron. Cameron's breaking it in. Cameron into the middle. Cameron makes it about 90% of the way there before it's. Knocked off and 21 having himself a pretty good game here this morning. Duncan Anderson up through the middle. Hands off, or it gets taken away by McClellan. Over to the left side. Shot back in behind for Boyd. Pressure on Boyd. Played in around here to the left side, Davidson. Tries to pass that out, back to Anderson. Anderson scooping back around, up through the right, over the blue line. Anderson steps in, shot. That one about a foot high, chasing his own rebound, still in the feet and behind. There's some um, back and forth skates going on here to start the third. End to end, McKinnis plays that around, picked up on the right side. Nova's looking for the open in pass, they're gonna connect on it, brought in McDonald. McDonald into the right side, and that one sneaks in behind. Hard on Hayden stick there from McDonald. Tried to pick up, up through the middle. Brought back around, little lead pass here to McKenzie. McKenzie with stride, picks up on the right side. McKenzie played across into the feet. That would've been a tough one to pull off as it gets knocked away. Novas. Flip back up through the middle. Hayden closes the feet, stops that puck, picks up by McIntosh. Nice job by Hayden to close the feet and then continue to work with that puck. Sometimes when that puck goes into the feeder, someone shoots it down into your lower half. It's a little harder to track, pushing that head down, but he felt it on the skate, able to get it and break it out of the zone. So nice stuff by 25 there. One of those things where it's easier said than done. When you're watching a hockey game, it looks like the easiest thing ever. But then when that puck's fired into your skates and you're trying to corral it and move it the right direction, it gets a little tougher as that one dumped in off the pad. Flipped up ahead to the feet of Hayden and in behind. Touched. And the face off will come back here to the neutral zone. Face off. Be right down here in front of us. Great support here on this game. Despite the 9 to the 8 a.m. start. So, a great day of hockey ahead, and there's going to be no rests. The 
Cougars and the Bandits will go at it next. The Bandits finishing that one seed got a pretty friendly schedule we mentioned. Back in for high for Anderson. Tries to get it up to Jones on the left side. Fleet moves it out up to Sim. Duncan Anderson with it pressured by Croft as it frees up to the middle for a moment over to Jones. Bouncing off the stick of Jones. Sim goes in at it with Jones. Freed up for Anderson. He'll scoop around. Number 11 brought in over the blue line. Into the corner, man down. Try to chip that up the left side there. One on one, back to Cohen. Cohen brings it in, blue line. Shot easily blockered into the left side. Croft centering pass, a in tight chance again. Cohen going to work, he'll get knocked over. Picked up. Sent back down. Novas with possession, they'll get Fresh legs out on the change as they work it in the offensive zone. First time in a few moments here. Nova's down on the right side to the middle. Watt, Watt gets cleared for a shot. Block, I think, by Sim there. Back to the line, snapped. And it jumps into the left side. A little pressure there on McGinnis. Back to McGinnis. Played over to the right side. Into the corner and the Bombers are playing that puck tough, especially in their own end here. Jumped up on it and a good stick by Sim. Pokes it back in behind and gives a reset here. Players forced to stay out there though as McKinnis breaks it right back in. Over to the right side, shot that one high. Gonna snap back down here on the left side. Davidson, a little pressure on Davidson. He comes out with it. Dishes to the right side for Ellis. Shot along the ice. Blocked, set back to Ellis. Ellis gonna dump that into the end boards now. McKinnis pinches down here off the line, three guys deep, and then returns to his post. And the Nova's getting some offensive pressure here as we approach halfway through our third period. Ellis picks it up and offside as he brought it back over. And you know, the first thing they tell you, never dangle at the blue line. And right there, causing the offside, trying to break that puck in. Face off. We'll be on the other side of the neutral zone here in the fresh forward line coming out late here for the Bombers. The line matching continues from Coach Sim here. Picked up, Bombers into the feet, turned over. That one will be shot back into the end boards. Played across on the left side. McKinnis fires that through the Blue paint again, no one home for it there. Grabbed him behind and a good active stick. Chipped up through the middle. Seems like the Bombers are just making that, that right play at the right time. Things are clicking on defense. And I'd even venture to say they're clicking on defense for the Novas as that one bounces through. I'd even say that it's clicking on defense for the Novas as well. That's what leads to a 2-1 game, especially here in the U15 league. Our scoring might be a little more prevalent than what we're seeing here, but things seem to be working, but Croft gets through and scores. So just like that, puts it in behind. And that'll be a 3-1. As I was saying, it seems like the sticks are working on D for both sides. A cut move to the middle, buried back left. And a two goal lead here for the Bombers now over the hometown Novas. And a big goal there off the rush after a couple defensive shifts holding the Novas at bay. And we'll continue on here. So 3-1. And Novas now two goal deficit to try to cut through here with 12-17 to go here in the third. Bombers looking for their first win. Novas looking for their second. Here on the left side, that one's going to be knocked back to McKinnis. Put up through the middle, chased after Williams. Williams grabs it, into the feet, hits Cohen's skating back in ahead, and Bell's gonna conservatively cover that one up as we cut inside, 12 minutes, 11.58 to go in the third.
Face off will be down here to the right. So Croft breaking through. McIntosh with the assist. No ice there. Is it chopped back? In? Oh, it is an ice. Looked like one of them waved it off, but with 11.44 to go, we'll try again here. And heading back down on the right side here. No, nope, back to center. So yeah, a little bit of a mistake there. Dropped in, McClellan chips away at it. It's poked up ahead. McClellan picks up that free puck, brought in into the skates, trying to go for an individual effort. <coughs> Pardon me. Nova's up the left side. Boyd's gonna fire that in behind. Chase after by Anderson. A little pressure there. Moves back out to the right side, pushed into the boards. McKinnis can't break that down and it'll be Hustled back the other way, looking for an edge, and a great cut back there by McDonald, but they're gonna get him. And a hold. I didn't see that one coming, but a penalty there to McDonald, and now at 11.10 to go. Uh, an Ian Tate plumbing and heating power play, and the Novas headed to the PK at a crucial time. Trying to keep this game within striking distance. So a slight hold along the left side. It's gonna come back and with 11.10 to go in the third. Two minute penalty here. Picked up and wired along the boards. Cohen read that one, jumps over onto it. Top of the circle, hard pass. Ricochets off a stick. Back to McKenzie. Down to the right side here, Cohen. Cohen jumps off. Into the middle there, Fleet has it in the glove, but can't corral it as it's played back to the line again. Shot by Anderson off a shin pad. Cohen jumps up on it. Cohen back to McKenzie. McKenzie worked over. Anderson back to McKenzie. Hitting Cohen here. Rolls off the stick. Cohen does a nice job cutting it off. Shot scores. One timer in front. Buried. And that'll be the 4-1. And the Bombers have broken through here in the first 10 minutes of the third. On a power play marker. And a great job by Cohen to keep that in on the right side near the hash mark. Snaps the pass to the middle. Fire top left. Not much the goaltender could do on that one. And a big goal there on the man advantage. Just 40 seconds in, 10.30 to go, and now a real deficit for the Novas to try to work through here. Back in behind, Anderson gonna work that around for the Bombers. It's Croft, Croft gets the pass off to Swain. Swain corrals, Swain still with it, gets the pass over to the left side. Looking for the return, hits a skate and back in behind. For Chisholm. So Hayden, assisted by Cohen and Lewis, comes at a great point. And interesting to see them kind of play the umbrella there on the power play. Haven't seen too much of that power play structure this weekend as Cohen on the right, on the right side, left a, play, a D man in the middle and the D man on the left, and then two guys down in front forming that umbrella. And it works out for them there as Pass to the middle man, fired in tight. Finds the back of the net. So 9.20 to go here. Jones looks to work it out. Jones up the left side. Jones, pass across, one touch, shot by Fleet. In a good area for it. I don't know if he got his feet set for that one as the puck kind of knuckle pucked off the end of his stick. But a good setup there by the Novas. Need these to start going in though. Under nine minutes to go, here comes the Bombers, down the right side, McKenzie. McKenzie's gonna get in over the blue line. McKenzie stick handles, low shot, that's gonna be easily steered into the left side. Little pressure in behind, cut move, Novas over to Jones. 
Gentlemen's lead pass on to Chisholm. Chisholm fires it into the end boards. Landry ran off of that puck. Bombers up through the middle. Nova's grab over to McDonald. McDonald works in again. Two McDonald's there on the Nova's side. Up the left, hits a stick and will stay alive as it's dumped in behind for Bell. McClellan, lone man in there as it ricochets up here to McDonald for the Novas. Cut move here to the left. Brought in, sent down, bouncing puck. Jeans all over it and 7.59 to go in the third here. So anyone just tuning in, Next game on the docket here is the Bandits and the Cougars as Bedford will play for the first time in almost 24 hours. Long extended break for the one seed. Going against the Cougars. Picked up in behind and that one slides in by the Novas and they're not done yet. Is that one sneaks in on the corner. And it's funny how you play the whole game trying to set up that perfect play. But sometimes all it takes is a little grit in behind and a lucky bounce. Four to two now the score was 7.54 to go. And I can imagine Sims down there telling everyone to lock in. Big points on the line here in the first game of the day. And the Bombers need this one here to even it up and out. Not only will they get a point on it, obviously it would take away a win from the Novas and even it out 1-1 and that would look good for their chances moving forward. So even though we're only five games in, the implications start adding up quick. So Hunter McDonald with an unassisted marker and a lead pass up there to the middle as Hayden with a skate back. Picked up, snapped towards the middle of Watt. Jumped up by Fleet, Fleet brings it in. Fleet over the middle, shot, that one steered into the left side. Fleet chases his own puck, pulled up in behind. Nova's now with a little bit of a buzz. Good job for Anderson to keep that in on a hard pass. Up through the middle, bounces off a shin pad back to Chisholm. Chisholm now inside seven minutes. If the Novas can get one here in the next little bit, they're within striking distance. Fleet, Fleet fires one up through the middle. They're gonna have to catch up to it. Cohen tries to jump up on it, sent him behind. Big lead pass up to Cohen on the right side. One on four though as he'll pick it, dump it. Ellis will chase after it. Sim coming in to help. Sim pushing it along the end boards. Freed up on the wall. Back in behind. Bombers get to it first in the offensive zone. Croft worked into the board. Sim as well as they go two and two down there in the corner, fight for that puck. Ref's not gonna blow it. I don't know if we've seen the ref blow it for a board battle yet. Into the feet, McKinnis. McKinnis brought over the blue line. A Little bit of a shoulder there and a cut to the middle, Cohen. Cohen hands it off, Croft offside there by Cohen as he turned on the Jets. A little overzealous, gets the whistle, 5.51 to go in the third. Four two, pretty good period here for the Bombers aside from that one that banked in, looking to finish this one out though. 9.29, so on schedule here, a game in. I mean, it'd be tough not to be, but I've seen it happen, believe me. Picked up in behind. All it takes is, you know, one injury or, you know, something happening on the ice. Maybe try to clear that up, maybe a big scrum. And these games can start to fall behind, but played a nice schedule yesterday. Everything's pretty clean in terms of timing. We'll see how today goes with action from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. tonight, pretty much. Last game starts at 8 tonight. So, we're here all day long at the Andy Guinness Arena on the main round robin day. So, today is the day where 
hopes and dreams are still very much alive. Then tomorrow there's three round robin games in the morning before we hit the semifinals tomorrow night. So really today is the main day in terms of setting the tone for tomorrow, which we get into elimination games. Four out of seven teams will move to that semifinal, obviously. The other three will call it a weekend. A little confusion here, maybe, oh, a timeout. There's the Bombers bench looking for the timeout and all three coaches doing it in sync here in front of us. But they're not. They're not getting it. Sim wants to know what's going on. Can't get the attention of a ref, and that's a bit of an interesting one. We all saw the in sync timeout calls there on the Bombers bench. Wouldn't come in the Novas trying to wrap it around. So, kind of interesting here. If the Novas can break through, I can't imagine they're going to be too happy here on the Bombers bench. So, 4.59 to go in along the end boards. Trying to play that up the left side. A little pressure coming in. Looking to spin off of it. Back to the blue line it comes. McDonald fires it into the end wall. Chopped that by Anderson. Puck rolls out through the middle. Duncan Anderson now hustling back for it. And Bombers able to get a full change out. Fresh legs there. Nova's still with the same players. Half of them changed there on that dump. Back in behind on the left side. Up through the middle, stopped on the stick, back to McDonald. Up to Fleet, a little pressure here in front, knocked by McKinnis, Hayden takes a bump, working that puck in behind, and now inside, four minutes to go. Bombers get it into the offensive zone, still haven't had that whistle, so they can call the timeout. McDonald shoots that one low. Nova's over to Chisholm. I wonder if they will call the timeout. We'll keep an eye on it because the moment might have passed for Simmer down there. Down on the left side. Battled for along the boards and it trickles out to Anderson. Gets that pass off to the left side. Into the feet back to Hayden. Hayden. McKinnis. Played across, Nova's lead pass, trying to go up the middle, good stick there, breaking off that cup and then turned over to the middle, and a chance here, up ahead, Nova's shot, and a big save there. His chance sticks with it, and that could have been it, folks, in terms of making this a one goal game. A push up the right, and no time out here from the Bombers bench, so we'll continue on, 319. Something will, Keep in mind as we head forward, electing to keep this game moving. And a great chance there for the Novas to cut this within one. Pressure there on Chisholm as Cohen going hard at it. Freed up on the left side. Uh, worked off the stick of Croft. Haven't been a lot of penalties in this game. Worked off into the boards. Nova's parents calling for that. Chipping away, now the Bombers parents calling for that. Just as I said, not many penalties, both parent groups. Oh, and that puck gets up, or that, the hands in the face. And what are they gonna, they're gonna call an interference. I must have missed that one. I thought maybe they'd get on the head contact here in front. McKenzie's gonna head off. And with 244, things just opened up slightly. And they send McKenzie and it's the wrong guy. So that's how you know it's a good penalty when the players don't know who took it. So into the box there for Sim on an interference. And it'll be an Ian Tate plumbing and heating power play here coming up. And the Novas will call a timeout here with just over two minutes and this one's coming down to the wire. Down 4-2, but 2.44 to work with and now a power play trying to bring it within one. So.
Sim will sit. End of the timeout. Jeans will head back into the net. Playing a pretty good game back there so far. Has come up with the saves when needed. Buck. Here's Cameron, the last man out. <laughs> Gets a little whack on the skates for good measure. That puck dropped in. All right, Ellis picks it up. Ellis over here to the left side. Someone broke a stick instantly there, changing off. Shot and low, so it's five on three and a half in tight. Bombers closing down in the zone and get that puck out. Hand it out here and the Novas will move it up the right side. Pass connects to Anderson. Anderson brings it in over the blue line. Into the end board, some pressure comes. Novas, grab it, Fleet. Fleet, back to the blue line, grabbed. Goalie leaves the net, so it'll be six on four here. Extra attacker comes out for the Novas, two minutes to go, minute 18 on the power play. Six on four, back to the line. Picked up by McDonald. McDonald on the left side. He looks for a seeing eye shot, bounces, and has a chance of heading out, spun out, and nice job to keep that, but then it's sent around the next go. Minute 46 to go in the third. Two goal lead here for the Bombers with a big win on the line. It would even up the Novas and the Bombers at one win apiece. And probably have further implications as well as the day goes on. Ellis spins that around. Duncan looking for a lead pass up to Davidson. A little too light on it. Knocked over. Bombers want the penalty. Shot. Can't get the empty net here. 38 seconds. It's into the corner. McDonald. Picks it up here on the left side. Snaps a pass. Ricochets off a stick. And in to the stanchion. 1.12 to go. 29 seconds on the power play. Faceoff will be in the neutral zone here. Not many changes for players. I think uh, swapping out Lewis or Hayden there. Broken stick back on. Seen a couple broken sticks. Fenwick McLean snapping two on his own yesterday in the one game they played. Well, that's an expensive game, but at least he scored a couple and the team ended up winning. I guess that softens the blow a little bit. Another one there. And here we go. Last minute of play here in the third period. 12 seconds to go in the sim penalty. McDonald up and running out of time here are the Novas. In through the middle, picked up right side, looking for a shot. That one tipped high. And taking away the chances as with two seconds to go in the power play. The Novas won't be able to break through on the six on four. And another early goal. This one obviously seeing six total goals, but we saw an early goal by the Bombers and I haven't looked back since then, similar to what the Gauls did on them just yesterday. So, interesting the parallels there as it plays into the end board. And fired hard into the bench, oh no, and that one was a potential for a direct hit there into the stands. Puck thrown back on the ice. And it looks like everyone is okay, but that puck definitely flew over with some speed. The no mesh is great for us streaming, but head on a swivel if you're a parent watching here. Puck gets through. Back over and behind for Anderson, 23 seconds. Played across, Novas, and with 20 seconds to go, it looks like the Bombers will come away with the victory here. One last push here down the left side, but down two. And the Bombers come up with a huge victory here in game one. Slap from the point, that will be stopped in the middle. Poked at, and that will do it. So, like I said a couple times, big victory here for Werewell. And evened up 1-1 between the Novas and the Bombers in terms of victories, and that'll do it for us here on High Button. So, thank you for the great support here on a Friday morning, that'll be it. So we're gonna head 
for a quick break here, and we'll be back shortly with the Cougars versus the Bandits.